you introduce yourself to everybody and um, tell them about your musical life? Okay. Yeah. So I'm Amy Sarah Spotty, and I grew up playing piano, actually, and uh, I loved it. It was a huge part of my upbringing. But getting into prep school and college and conservatory, um, a tremendous amount of anxiety became attached to my musical life. And I really went away from it for about 25 years. And then, uh, you know, two grown children later, <laughs> and life and everything else, um, I, started, uh, I started to play the flute. And, um, you know, I rediscovered music. And um, I've done a lot of performance with the flute, uh, but I ended up going to, um, to Flute Haven, and I met people who told me about the organization Music for People. And uh, the more I learned about it, the more I realized, yeah, this is, this is my tribe. Better check this out. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, I went to one of the weekends and you know, fell in love with, with the, the work, the people, and everything, and uh, finally had the opportunity to immerse in the, uh, the art of improvisation. And it's been a, an incredibly life-changing week. And I know you also joined um, Music for People's Musicianship and Leadership Program. So what, what led to that, yeah. uh, that choice? Yeah, well, just watching um, really the play uh, come back into my musical life. And um, I work with a lot of seniors and senior communities. And uh, I really wanted that, I wanted that work to, to uh, become part of who I was and what I had to offer. And even, mm -hmm. after, even after one weekend of Music for People, everything changed for me, just the way uh, I was able to um, really draw from what was present in the moment. And, you know, we're talking about seniors with dementia. So, um, you know, really specialty population. Yeah. Um, and yet... Who love music so much. Who love music and absolutely come alive with this kind of music. And the creative ideas that I saw, not only in the first weekend, but this week, yeah, you bring so much back. You know, every, every hour of training becomes like a whole concept of what you can bring back to your work and your life. Even if, it, if your, your work doesn't have to do with facilitating music, it still shows up in your life in so many ways. It's like a little personal, uh, you know, empowerment and growth journey through music. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have any advice do you, for people who might want to join the program? Do you have? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I hear a lot when I tell people about it, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not musical. And so I say, great, then you're going to love this, this community. So that's it, is, is to suspend any judgment um, that you might not be musical or, oh, I don't have a musical bone in my body, this, this kind of thing. Um, uh, to give this a try because it's not about that and what happens uh, with everyone's support and the leadership and the guidance and the tools um, it's a whole musical playground and that's really what it's about mm -hmm. 